Hey, what is up everyone and welcome back to another rating my Darren aircraft video. This video is going to be rating the A330s in my collection, which is going to be a fun one. In a long story short, I just filmed this video and I have to refilm it now because I forgot one of the airplanes. I thought I had five A330s, but there's actually a sixth one that I forgot about. Um, and I'd say only two of these are, like, common. Like, the other ones are all rare. Wait. No, no, no. Only three of these are common. The other ones are all rare. But one of them is getting rarer because it was released kind of a long time ago now. And that is going to be my sixth rank. Which uh, is right here. And hopefully you guys don't get offended by this. But yeah, it's the Alitalia A330 coming in at 6th place. And, um, oh yeah, if you guys haven't already, um, check out my previous video, which is the Boeing 747's ranking. And there's a lot of aircraft in that video. So that one's a pretty exciting one, so, uh, be sure to check that out. But, um, yeah, for the Alitalia A320, this is just so mid and it's it's not exactly how i wanted it to come out at all like it doesn't feel like alitalia like the real thing you see at the airport it feels more like a cheap 7-eleven airplane with bad stickers and bad coloring and no i'm not holding back anymore because this is like my third time filming this video uh and i want to film it um, but yeah, starting at the front, we've got the Alitalia logo with, like, the spearmint green. Then the whole plane is just kind of boring and white. And then we've got these cool gray lines at the back. This is definitely the highlight of this plane. It's these gray line details are pretty cool. And no registration, no flag, and we've got the tail here, which is okay. Like, I don't know, the colors just don't feel right to me. It's kind of mid. But, uh, if you are thinking about this plane, I would say... It is kind of an essential, sort of. It depends on what airport you want to make. Uh, I do see these flying at Boston Logan still. Sometimes, even though Alitalia is now a terminated airline, and they're switching their aircraft over to, like, Italy Air or something, they still haven't repainted them all, so you can still see these guys flying. Um, the new livery looks great, though. It's, like, full blue, so hopefully Darren makes that, because those are cool. And yeah, that one is just... You know, it's still a good plane, but compared to the rest, I think it's pretty far behind. Um, next, we have um, maybe the the third rarest on this list, which is the Hawaiian Airlines in the old livery. And this one is a great airplane. Um, this one is... Uh, I, I was pretty ecstatic about this when it came out. It's got... um. It's got a lot of really great colors this was like my first airplane with like purple on it and then of course i got fedex later but this fedex does not compare to this at all um so uh yeah this is also my first a330 too so this was pretty cool for me at the front we've got this really cool hawaiian logo in dark purple that looks like orbitron or like halo letters i just love that dark purple on it um and then you go you keep going got the american flag and we've got the Hawaiian girl with the flower with the different shades of purple and pink. And then down to the fuselage, there's like these shades of like light bluish purple um, plants kind of that per protrude from the tail. And the bottom is like this beautiful purple again. So yeah, this is fifth place. It's a really great aircraft like. It's only fifth because the other four are also absolute bangers, but this is in contention, um, especially with this next one right here, which is also pretty rare, and I didn't know this existed for a while, but I was able to find it. And it's only rare because there's other models for this airline that are more common, but this is a really well done model. I feel like I should be rating this higher, honestly, because of how good this looks. Should I bump this up? Mm, wait, I need to think about this. Okay, these next two are basically tied, okay? This one and the next one. They could go back and forth. I'll keep this guy at fourth right now, only because the other one means more to me. But uh, here we have the Qantas A330. 
Spirit of Australia. I did an unboxing for this one. This one has great details on it. Um, I think it's got a kangaroo at the front there. And the Qantas logo is big, but it looks so clean and just really high definition. Like, bold, very eye-catching, like, very hard to miss. Um, the, the engines got have, like, the kangaroo on them, which is really cool looking. It's got the Spirit of Australia words. Like, it's just the fact that this plane has stickers, but, like, it's in such good quality. Um, which I, I really love and appreciate. Like, they're just put on there really well, so, um. And then it's got a great detail down here. It says Airbus A330-300. That is so cool. And then at the back, this is also really well done. The Australian flag. No registration, but, um, there's still tons of details. It's got that gray line. And then the tail, sorry, just readjusting myself. The tail also looks really, really good. Um, with the kangaroo and stuff. And, uh, yeah. This is coming in at fourth, but it's a great model and it's pretty rare. So now we're into the top three. Um, this is in contention with the Qantas, but it means more to me because, um, and yeah, it's the Aer Lingus A330 in the new livery. This plane is also packed with great details. Um, I like the old livery more. And what's interesting about this one is it's like, it's like a turquoise blue, like green kind of turquoise. So yeah, it's not very green as you might expect. Um, but here on this side, it actually says different stuff on the front than the other side. On this side, it's got some words, and it says A330-300 down there. And then it's got the Aer Lingus logo, with the three-leaf clover, and turquoise engines. And yeah, those look pretty good. And the rest is pretty plain. Then we've got EI-ELA with the Irish flag. And this is stickers, but they do a pretty good job of it. And then, and then, um... Yeah, the underside is this turquoise blue. And then we see the green um, minty line going up. And we got the tail, which looks really nice. Yeah, that tail looks sweet. And yeah, I see these guys at Boston Logan all the time. And uh, I might pick up a few more of these because if I ever want to... Um, do Dublin International Airport or Logan International Airport. These guys are there all the time. And yeah, I'd say that is kind of an essential for a lot of airports. Um, sorry, I'm going pretty quick, but uh, we're going to second place. And this is one of the coolest, waviest, drippiest liveries um, of all my airplanes I have. This is the Hawaiian A330 new livery. Oh my gosh, this plane is so fire. Um, I'll admit, I actually like the old logo a little more than the new one. Because I think the font is cooler and it's darker purple. But the new logo still looks pretty good. And there's a little detail right under the H. There's like some sort of flag. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. Um, but the main thing that makes this airplane so good is this gray plant cross thing in the middle right here. That's very eye-catching and some of the best detail I've ever seen on a Darren aircraft. Like, it just looks great. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show that in more detail soon. But we've got the American flag. No registration. That's okay. And then we've got the Hawaiian girl with the flower. And it's more darker purples this time. And there's, like, more plants and flowers coming out at the bottom rather than, like, these light blue shapes um here's the difference yeah i like the new livery more personally but i would see why some people would like the old livery more but i do think this new livery just looks really good and this purple on the bottom near the back and uh yeah this this one looks great but looking at the gray here's just some angles of it um here's the side view of the gray and then from the back here's what it would look like from the top 
is really cool. So yeah, that's second place. Um, would be first if not for one of the rarest airplanes in my collection and probably the most meaningful rare airplane to me that I have. Some people didn't even know this existed. I didn't know this existed. I was also I was already I was always asking for Darren to make this, but in reality they had already made it. I just didn't know it was out. And it was the Aer Lingus A330 in the old livery. And this plane is so cool. Um, there is a lot of detail on this one, and I, I've got I got it used, so it's missing. It, it, it's a little banged up in some places, like the front, but uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, it says a uh, Aer Lingus on the front, and then uh, some cool details down there. And um, there's three lines. So basically on the windows, there's a lighter green. And then and then there's a there's actually a blue under that, which might be really hard to see on camera. But there's dark green, light green, blue. And then white, of course, for the underbelly. And then this plane is fully painted, by the way. And some of the details are amazing. Like this engine here. And this uh, fin. Both have the clover painted on them and just the fact that they were able to paint this on is just so cool like that is some outstanding detail if you ask me on both sides and um yeah another thing i love about this plane is that it's got white stabilizers that go with the white engines so that's a really cool touch and um near the back we have a registration it is um ei dash DES, I think, with the Irish flag. So that's really cool. Then we've got the classic Aer Lingus tail. Uh, I've been on this airplane. I've flown on this plane from Boston to Dublin and back, I think. So this does really mean a lot to me, the A330-200. So it's great that I have this in Darren, and it's definitely first place for A330s. And... I can utilize it a lot like it just means a lot to me because i've flown on it and it's a really cool livery like it's not every day you get like a full green airplane like this i've just i've always loved Aer Lingus. like it gives me happy vibes when i see it at the airport because it's so eye-catching like i'm just remembering this from my childhood all these white planes and then there's just like this full green airplane with an even lighter green on the tail and it's just like visual pleasedness um yeah what i said doesn't really make sense but uh yeah that's how i feel about it so yeah everyone there's my ranking for the a330s six of them i thought i had five but i have six recapping we've got alitalia a330 hawaiian airlines old livery a330 qantas a330 Aer Lingus new livery a330 and third and second the hawaiian airlines new livery a330 and then first place, the Aer Lingus Old Livery A330. Um, and yeah, this collection of A330s is great. It's mostly a mix of like green and purple colors, along with some uh, reds here and there. So um, yeah, you really don't get this nice of a color variation when you do most of these ranking videos. But that's why I love doing these videos, because... Um, it shows the individual collections of aircraft and that could be really satisfying and cool to look at So yeah guys, please let me know your rankings for these planes Which ones you have or which ones you're looking for. There's some other really rare ones out there like um, Gulf Air A330 or Air Caribes A330. Like I've seen some really beautiful Planes there might even be an Air France A330. I don't know. There's a lot out there that I don't have that are all rare so yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this video, and thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, we've got Boeing 757s next, and then A340s after that. Bye.